These wires need stapled to a stud no more than six inches from where they leave an electrical box. This way, they're very unlikely to get yanked out of the box. I'm using half inch staples for this 12-2 Romex. I can set multiple 12-2 wires on top of each other before stapling into place. I make sure to hammer the staples in until the wire's immobile. I staple all wires into place next to the electrical boxes and at least once every four feet when wires are traveling along a stud. The general setback rule for these cables is that they must be at least one and a quarter inches back from the face of the framing members. If this requirement can't be met, you've got to protect the cables by installing a steel plate that fastens to the face of the framing centered over the cable location. When finished, you just fold over your wires coming out of the electrical boxes and tuck them into place. They'll receive receptacles and switches after the drywall is hung. 